Kevlar is a dynamic rushdown character with solid neutral who specializes in piling on pressure and controlling the screen space. In this video, I will be giving you 5 tips on how to utilize some of the tools that you may not have thought about before. Let's get into it. Step 1. 6H At face value, Kefla's command overhead seems really strong. While it is a great tool to have, the attack has a 27 frame startup. Using it at predictable points in your strings too much may allow your opponent to start reacting in order to punish it easily, or making a read for a huge punish. To increase the likelihood of this attack opening your opponent up, try using it right after an assist that has a large visual effect on the screen, making it hard to actually see Kepler's startup for the attack. On hit, you can cancel into 2 one 4 m for a full combo, however this has a gap on block. To option select hit or block for a smaller reward, try using 6H, 5S, 5H, then confirming into 214L on block and super dash on hit. Step 2 214S. 214S is another one of Kefla's really strong tools, her command dash. This move gives Kefla amazing screen presence, allowing her to maneuver behind her opponent if done on the ground. When done in the air, the distance between her and her opponent will determine whether or not she lands in front or behind. Use this attack to call out projectiles in neutral, but be careful if your opponent still has their assists, as they could bait and punish you for trying to punish them. It can also be used to escape post vanish situations and return to neutral. Step 3, 2 on 4. 2 on 4 is a low hitting lariat type special which is really good for closing distance. Think of this as a bardock type attack which can be used to lock down opponents from various positions. The EX version also has an extra use of punishing bad vanishes as well as being able to be used in neutral solo for big conversions. Step 4, 226HS, also known as Ray Zone. Kefla's Ray Zone has a number of uses, from double super extensions to corner pressure with an assist. Here's two things you may not have thought of with this special move. 1. Since this attack meets on sliding knockdown, just like Piccolo's Hell Zone, while you can't get a mix up mid screen, this does let you restrict your opponent's freedom on wake up. Use this if you don't have assists to help you with your mid-screen Oki. 2. Using this in conjunction with 2 on 4 s in the corner can confuse your opponent and also give you more time to react to defensive sequences like Reflect Tag. Step 5. DHC Timings In case you didn't know, DHCing from one character in the Kefla too early can cause your first character super to whiff in certain scenarios. Make sure you double check which combo renders this occurs with and adjust your DHC timing accordingly to make sure you don't miss out on your damage and waste any meter. In conclusion, Kefla is a ton of fun and a fast paced rushdown zona type character with a plethora of tools at her disposal. Make sure you use them in their optimal scenarios to get the most out of this character. Let us know down below if there are any tips or tricks that I didn't mention that you think will be useful for anyone learning the character. Thank you for watching. This has been Enigma. Big thank you to Tyrant for reaching out to me and putting me on the Frame Advantage channel. Hopefully, you'll see me here again soon. I do have my own YouTube channel as well, where I do similar videos, so please check that out and subscribe to both Tyrant and myself, and follow both of us on Twitter and Twitch, the link to which will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, stay safe, and see you soon. Peace.